Hello students, here we are going to solve a problem with respect to a circular lamina. So this circular lamina is appears in front view as an ellipse. That means front view we are going to get it on VP. So that is the reason why we are going to place a circular lamina on VP. So in the second step, we are going to make it look like an ellipse. Here the major axis is going to determine the diameter of the circular lamina as the surface of the circular lamina is parallel to VP in the first case. So in the second case, this looks like an ellipse. Now in the third step, we need to make the major axis being parallel to both HP and VP. So one end is on minor axis on HP, the other end is on VP. So we need to draw the projections of the lamina. Here we are going to see how it is going to be analyzed with respect to a 3D model. So this is a circular lamina. Initially we have uh, kept it on VP. Kept it on VP. Because in front view it should look like an ellipse. So we shall move to the front view. So in the second step it looks like an ellipse. So the circular lamina which has been kept on VP second step is going to look like an ellipse. So we need to find the angle that is true inclination with respect to VP that is nothing but phi. So which is similar to a previous problem. In previous problem we have taken a rectangle lamina which looks like a square. Then again the one more problem a rectangle looks like a smaller rectangle. Here circle looks like an ellipse. So here the distance is 15 mm. So that is what we have kept it in the front view. It is 15 mm. So we in the top view it is going to be line view. It is going to be line view. The distance from this point to this point is going to be 15 mm. So uh, with the 3D model I have projected a 2D model so without uh, drawing it so this is a front view in the top view it is going to be line view second step this distance is 15 mm in top view we are going to find the surface inclination with respect to vp so the next step is here he says that the major axis is being parallel to both hp and vp here right now the major axis is going to be defined d dash and b dash that means with respect to the actual circle it is going to be a capital letter t and capital letter b so here d dash b dash is going to be perpendicular to the six y line we need to make it major axis parallel to both hp and vp that means i need to rotate it either it can be clockwise or anti-clockwise but the next sentence says that one end of the minor axis in both HP and VP. That means here already one end is nothing but A is already in VP. C is away from VP. So I cannot place the C dash here. So A dash here. So that is the reason one end A is on the XY line. So here with respect to 3D model you can see that this is the one end which is on VP. Here in the next step we need to make one end is on both HP and VP. That's why we are going to keep the same end on the XY line. Otherwise we could have kept it here. Because he says that the one end of a circular lamina or ellipse is going to be on both HP and VP we have to keep it on XY line. So in the front view we are going to be able to see it as a the same thing which is going to 15 becomes here this becomes 30 will be here but in the top view it is going to be having the more surface the distance from this point and in the front view is going to be same only if it is in 45 degrees here the angle is different so here top view i'll be able to see more surface in front view i'll be able to see less surface so that is what we am going to rotate this clockwise or sorry anti-clockwise direction I need to keep the A dash touching the XY line A dash C dash is the minor axis D dash B dash is the major axis 
so this is going to be parallel similarly i'm going to project it i'll be getting this hope you understood the concept the same thing how it is going to be manually sketched will be uploaded in the next video hope you understood the concept have a good day